And we're going to start with the game of the year in the NFL. The 49ers and the Saints, they put on a show yesterday. That game lived up to the hype and then some. That game lived up to the hype like the Ben Yeas at Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans. Those are fire. Tasty. And last night, Jimmy G and Drew Brees, Kyle Shanahan and Sean Payton, they were throwing the fire last night. 349 yards each for those two quarterbacks. Nine total touchdowns, and it all came down to the final drive for the San Francisco 49ers, and it was all about Kyle Shanahan. They were facing a fourth and two, 30 seconds to play. He calls a timeout, and he draws up a play to get that ball to his best player, George Kittle. Garoppolo fires. It is caught still on his feet as Kittle with a big play and the stiff arm. George Kittle flags fly. He's down to the 30. What a run by George Kittle. Take it on everybody, but the penalty is huge. There are multiple flags. Ooh. Thinking face mask here, and there it is. Marcus Williams grabbing Kittle's mask, and he refuses to go down. So if yesterday was a shootout, George Kittle was the silver bullet for the 49ers. We'll call him the golden bullet because he makes that play. It took them 20 yards to drag down George Kittle. And I'm sorry, Travis Kelsey. He's the best tight end in the NFL. And then Jimmy Garoppolo. What more can you say about Jimmy Jesus? He steps up again, wins another big game. Last night, he went 26 for 36, 74% completion percentage, 349 yards, four touchdowns, and that one interception he threw was really Emmanuel Sanders' fault. He should have caught that. In fact, 11 of the interceptions that Garoppolo has thrown this year, six of them were his receiver's fault. So Jimmy Garoppolo steps up a 131.7 quarterback rating, and I love how everyone, Mike Florio, all these pundits out there, they're not giving him the credit he deserves. They're saying, hey, that was Kyle Shanahan, a master class by Kyle Shanahan drawing up those plays. People are acting like, like Kyle Shanahan was under center and making those throws. Like he was suited up in that game. But no, Jimmy Garoppolo had to execute and he set up the 49ers for the game winning field goal. Snap is high, the kick is up, and it is good! What a win for the 49ers! And you saw right there John Lynch hugging his quarterback. Well, John Lynch is starting to look like Jimmy Genius because bringing in Garoppolo, that was the move. He has this 49ers team sitting at 11-2 with three weeks to play in the regular season, the number one seed in the NFC. And yesterday, Garoppolo joined Steve Young and Jeff Garcia as the only 49ers quarterbacks with at least three games of four passing touchdowns in a single season. Jimmy Garoppolo, he hears everyone out there. He knows what the critics, the 49ers haters saying, hey, you want to beat the Niners? You make Garoppolo throw the football. Well, hey, gas is very expensive these days, and you guys are providing Garoppolo with some free fuel. He hears it out there, and hears him talking about it right after the game. Have this theory, you make Jimmy Garoppolo beat you with his arm. So you're like, okay, fine. Uh, that worked out for you today, but how sick are you of that? Let's keep that theory going. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's a great team win today. I thought all three phases played great. Guys up front battled their ass off. It was awesome. Congratulations. Definitely, thanks. But you've got to give it to Kyle Shanahan. He was in his bag last night just flexing on that Saints defense, and he's got this team at 11-2, and, and the toughest three-game stretch of the season, they go 2-1, and one, could have been 3-0. and oh. They beat the Packers by 29 at home. They go to Baltimore, almost beat Lamar Jackson and the Ravens in the pouring down rain, and then last night they go into New Orleans, and they put up 48 points for the 49ers. Here's Kyle Shanahan right after the game. Um, I mean, not much. It, it means that we're, what were we, 10 and 2? I mean, it means we're 11 and 2. Um, it means we're 11 and 2, so we'll see what else happens. But, I mean, it doesn't, and everyone likes to talk about that each week, but, um, and it'd be more fun to talk about if everyone else had bad records, but there's a lot of teams that have good records, so it's just one week at a time, and if you start feeling good about yourself, um, it's going to be over for you fast, and if you get real down and count yourself out, um, then you're not giving yourself a chance because it's going to come down to the last week with a number of teams in um, the NFC, and, um, but we're looking forward to next week. All right. Thanks, folks.
And I love that. You know you're having a great year when you don't even know how many wins you have. He's like, do we have 10 wins, 11 wins? You have 11 wins and two losses with three games left to play. I think they finish up 13-3. and three. They've got the Falcons, Seahawks, and Rams. They go to Seattle. They could avenge that home loss they had earlier in the year. And if you're the 49ers, I know it feels like, hey, this is just the start of something, right? You're building a dynasty. Five, ten years of a contention. While that may be possible, you've got to go all in this year. Because remember what happened last year with Sean McVay? Every coach that was associated with Sean McVay, they got opportunities. They're going to come calling for the defensive coordinator, Salah. He's going to get a job. This 49ers team, they're in a position this year to win the NFC. By the way, my Super Bowl pick, the Packers, they're now at number two. I think the 49ers, they're in the driver's seat to go to the Super Bowl. If they can get the Saints to come to Levi's Stadium, the 49ers will be in the Super Bowl. Thanks for watching the Get More Sports YouTube channel. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me at DMAC underscore LA. And for all the hottest sports content in the game, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and most importantly, give me all your takes right down below in the comments section. I want all your takes right down below in the comments section. And for all the hottest and latest sports news, head over to GetMoreSports.com.